Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel Top SST. So uh, today I will be covering money and credit and globalization. As I told you before also, geography chapters are simple and you can do it yourself. So money and credit and globalization is again the uh, economics chapter which is going to come for 10 marks. So uh, let's see the quick revision. And I have covered all the important topics here. So when we talk about money, okay, uh, so what is money? Money is nothing but it is uh, money acts as an intermediate in the exchange process, uh, which is called as medium of exchange. So in, in our day-to-day -day transactions, goods are being sold and brought with the use of money. What is double coincidence of wants? Double coincidence of wants is one of the major problem in barter system. When in the exchange, both the parties agree to sell and buy each other's commodity, it is called as double coincidence of wants. And in a barter system, double coincidence of wants is one of the very, very essential feature. Even one, uh, one party uh, doesn't want to exchange their commodity, then the exchange between or like, you know, buying and the selling process will not happen. So so uh, if you want in detail the uh, detail answer, please visit, revisit to my previous videos for better understanding. Here we are doing only the quick revision. What is demand deposits in bank? Demand, whenever I'm going to demand my deposit, the bank has to give. So what is demand deposit? Deposits in the bank account that can be withdrawn on demand. People need only some currency for their day-to-day -day needs. For instance, workers who receive their salaries at the end of each month have some extra cash. What they do with that cash, they just deposit those things so that they, uh, they will get some interest on it. What is check? Check is nothing but it is a paper instructing the bank to pay a specific amount from a person's account to the person in whose name the check has been drawn. While writing the check, we need to be very careful uh, and some of the precautions needs to be taken while, uh, while writing the check. For example, we need to be uh, very much careful that what date we are writing, uh, which year we are writing because the check is valid only for some period of time. The signature should be matched, uh, whatever the signature I'm putting, it should be matched with my bank details also. Then the name of the person should be written correctly, then the words, uh, whatever the amount suppose for example if i'm giving 10000 to someone so the uh, it should be written properly in words as well as in numbers we need to cross the check always when we are writing so these are the some of the precautions uh, we need to take while writing the check now what is reserve bank of india reserve bank of india is a uh, 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 is a bank which controls the monetary policy of the country reserve bank of india supervise the activities of all the formal sources of credit and keep the record their activities and their supervision the functioning and other things periodically all the banks rbi children always remember rbi we cannot open our account rbi accounts like in rbi only the banks can open the account all the commercial bank needs to open all the formal sector of the bank needs to open the account with rbi what are the some of the functions of rbi it uh, issuer it, they issue the currency it is bankers uh, of the uh, to the government bankers to other government as well, other uh, bank and it regulates the foreign exchange so there are four functions at least you need to remember for two marks it issues the currency it is bankers to the government, it is bankers to other bank, and it regulate the foreign exchange. And what is uh, Reserve Bank of India? Reserve Bank of India controls the monetary policy of the country and all the formal sector uh, uh, is, uh, 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 RBI is the one who supervise all the formal sector, uh, formal sector. Formal sector includes your banks and cooperatives. Now, what are the modern forms of money? When we talk about the modern forms of money, money is something which acts as a medium of exchange. So before introduction of coin, we know that the barter system was there, but after the barter system, money uh, money was after a very long time, like, you know, the money started being used. So we used to use the grains or cattle for the exchange of commodity with commodity. The, those uh, economy was called as commodity exchange economy or CC economy, commodity, commodity exchange. 
Currency, modern forms of money includes paper notes and coin. Money is accepted as a medium of exchange because uh, these things are being or the currency are authorized by the government of India. In India, RBI, that is Reserve Bank of India, issues the currency notes on the behalf of central government. Only one rupee coin is issued by government of India and all other currency is issued by RBI, that is Reserve Bank of India. Now, if you look at the picture, okay, Okay, uh, bank is at the center, one side it is depositor, one side it is the borrowers. So what is the uh, what is the bank activity or what is the loan activity, how it goes? So if you look, people who are having extra money, what they do with that extra money, people make deposits in the bank. Why people make deposits in the bank? Definitely they should get some, uh, some motivation or I can say that uh, some money needs to yield money. That's the reason they... Uh, keep the money in the bank. So bank gives people interest on their deposit. Now there are certain people who are like, you know, who are need of money. So what they does, they go to the bank, they provide all the collateral and they take loan from the bank, that is credit from the bank. So when they repay it, they need to pay the interest. So what the difference between the people, the bank gives to the people and bank takes from the people, that is the profit for the bank. Now, I will be just reading out for you. This is very, very important. That's the reason with the help of the diagram I have explained. Loan activities of the bank. Bank keeps only a small proportion of their deposit as a cash with themselves. This keep as a pro, uh, provision to pay the depositor who might come to withdraw money from the bank at any given point because it's a demand deposit and bank cannot uh, say that we will not be paying. So bank needs to pay the cash if some customer comes and they ask for their money. Since on any particular day, only some of its uh, money depositor come to withdraw cash and the bank is able to manage with the cash. Bank usually... Uh, <laughs> use major proportion of the deposit to the extent loan. So when this is the huge, like, you know, loan activity, various loan activities of the economic, like, you know, uh, bank spends on the economic activity, that is their main profit. But bank does not only do the profit making business, but bank make sure that they give it to the small business people, startup companies and other things also apart. So who supervise all this? This has been taken care by RBI. RBI always look into the bank bank loan activity, whether bank is giving loan to every uh, every segment of the society or it is only making the profit uh, profit making business. Bank charge a higher interest rate on the loans than what they offer on the deposit. The difference between what is being charged from the borrowers and what is being paid to the depositor is the main source of income. As I explained you in the diagram also, what bank gives as an interest and what bank takes as an interest, the difference amount is called as the profit for the bank. Now terms of credit, what is terms of credit? Terms on what terms bank gives the loan? Credit is nothing but loan. So every loan agreement specify, specifies an interest rate which the borrower must pay to the lender along with the repayment of the principal addition. Lenders may demand collateral against the loan. Collateral, now they can ask you two marks question, what is collateral? Collateral is an asset that the borrower owns and uses this as a guarantee to the lender until the loan is repaid. What are the terms of credit? The interest rate, collateral, documentation, and the mode of repayment together comprise what is called as terms of credit. Now, this is again one of the very, very important uh, uh, question. Why cheap and affordable credit important for countries' development? Okay, so why it is uh, very important? Because more lending will lead to higher income and encourage people to invest in agriculture, business, uh, to start up new industries. Cheap credit will always enable more investment. This leads then acceleration to the economic activity. So whenever sasta agar credit hoga, ya sasta like, you know, loan agar bank dene lagega, to there will be people who will be motivated to start their own business. They will, uh, their, uh, they, they will start getting the higher income. So those higher income will encourage people to invest on various things. Cheap credit would all, also allow weaker section of the society to access the formal sector of lending and get trade of informal money lenders. 
get rid of informal money lenders whenever we take a uh, uh, loan from the informal sector there are high chances that the people can get into the debt trap okay so affordable credit would also end the cycle of debt trap cheap and easy terms of credit would inspire better investment in technology and thus increase the competition so that's the reason cheap and affordable uh, credit is very important one more again uh, important question what is the difference between formal sectors of loan and informal uh, credit or informal sector so formal sector as i told you before also formal sector includes banks and cooperatives whereas informal sector includes money lenders traders employers friends and relatives usually uh, in the informal sector they don't require uh, the collateral but banks require the collateral if you want to get a loan it is very important that we need to produce the collateral documentation is very important <laughs> excuse me there will be always a reasonable rate of interest charge in the uh, by the banks or from the formal sector whereas here like you know it depends on person to person how much like they are charging apart from profit making they also make an objective of social welfare agar yaad hoga to pichli baar bhi maine bola tha in formal sectors are supervised by the uh, rbi so when rbi supervise they make sure that bank doesn't do only the profit making business but they also invest on the social uh, social welfare whereas in the informal it is totally for the profit okay their motive is to extract uh, profit as much as possible terms of credit are fair and reasonable whereas here they impose very tough and sometimes even unreasonable terms of credit which are which is very difficult and when we talk about terms of credit uh, it's always like you know they come under the debt trap and uh, uh, reasonable when we talk about the reasonable people won't come under the debt trap the reserve bank of india supervise the functioning of formal sector whereas there is no uh, organization which can supervise uh, uh, which supervises uh, its functioning that is informal sector now self help group what do you understand by self help groups self help groups are created for the poor household it is usually in the rural area which is uh, like you know rural area still people are dependent on informal sources of credit where what is the reason the reason is banks cannot be anywhere uh, everywhere in the rural country people don't have a knowledge about banks even banks present like you know even uh, banks are not able to give the loan because uh, poor uh, documentation and collateral so to overcome all this problem people created self help groups self help groups are uh, small groups of poor people which promote small small savings a typical self help group is about 15 to 20 members usually belonging to one neighborhood who meet uh, uh, meet and save regularly what are the advantages of self help group it helps borrowers to overcome the problem of lack and lack of collateral so collateral who plays in collateral the group itself plays an uh, role of collateral people can get timely loan for a variety of purposes and at the reasonable interest rate self help group are the building blocks of organization of the rural poor it helps women to become financially self reliant the regular meetings of the group provide a platform to discuss and act on the social issues such as health nutrition domestic violence etc so with this i have completed money and credit shortly i will be posting uh, the video for globalization so with that we will be completing all the quick revision manufacturing industry and lifeline of national economy you can revisit my uh, previous videos for the understanding all the best do well in your exam thank you very much